Hi, I'm Chris Cloak and I'm a patient with CRPS. We're here to discuss with Dr. Bruce Mitchell the mechanisms of CRPS and the management of the condition. This series of videos is to educate and inform people within the CRPS communities. I hope you enjoy. Do you think CRPS is neurological, immunological or both? I think it's both. There's definitely evidence that neural inflammation is a part of CRPS, particularly early on. What happens with a primary neuron when there's damage in the area is the neuron, the genetic material within the actual neuron will turn the neuron on to make more receptors. And the receptors actually will trigger at a much lower level than they did previously. So a pain receptor that might have turned off when there was pretty severe pain now becomes turned on with just light touch and it's constantly firing all the time. It actually feeds itself forward and will actually put pro-inflammatory um, solutions around itself so it actually gets itself turned on more and more. So that's definitely an immunological thing that goes on. Mm -hmm. But then at a spinal cord level, the inhibitory in the neuron dying is definitely a neural, neuronal event. And once it's dead, we actually can't re-establish that neuron. And then the pain actually has un uninterrupted access to the spinal cord. And then there's what's going on within the actual dorsary ganglion itself. That's even more complicated. The dorsary ganglion is where the motor fibres and the sensory fibres from the, from the spinal cord meet. And we were taught it was like around about in the past and the, the motor fibres and the sensory fibres passed over each other and then we had a nerve root that went to the front with motor and sensory fibres and a nerve root that went to the back with motor and sensory fibres. But it's much, much more complicated than that. It's got glial cells and astrocytes in there that are very much immunologically driven and they will actually change their connections multiple times every day. And with a chronic pain situation, it's probably the actual astrocytes and glial cells that are driving this pain focus from within the dorsal ganglion itself. Mm.